Rumors are that allegedly Sheree and Martell have another big secret. What is it? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, Ken Folk, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Ken Folk, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Sheree and Martell have a big secret. What is this new secret all about? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that allegedly Sheree is holding on to another big secret regarding her relationship with Martell. One source said, this secret is big. Sheree has done a pretty good job about keeping it out of the press. So it must be some truth to it. The source continued, Maybe she will reveal this secret on the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Or she may even reveal it beforehand just to build up some hype for the new season. The source ended by saying, Whenever Sheree does decide to let the world and fans in on this secret, it will be big. Another insider said, Sheree's alleged big secret is known by a few of the ladies on the show. All of which have been sworn to secrecy and appear to be doing a great job of covering for Sheree. So the question is, what is this big rumored secret that Sheree is hiding? Well, allegedly, Sheree is hiding the secret that she has officially moved Martel into Chateau Sheree. The insider continued, Apparently, Martel has officially set up residency at Sheree's house. He allegedly even receives mail there. The source continued, Martel is almost an official resident of Atlanta thanks to Sheree. All of his things are there, and he can be seen daily leaving the house for work meetings and workouts. So, the big question is, does Martel's children stay at Chateau Sheree? while visiting their dad? The source admitted that it's unlikely that they do, but they did not rule out at least the children visiting for the day at Sheree's while their father is in town. This is a big move for Sheree, continued the source. If true, this development will make for a very interesting season for Sheree. Also, when asked, the source did confirm that some of the ladies who have known about Martel allegedly moving in with Sheree aren't too happy. Rumors are that they feel like, once again, Sheree is moving too fast and needs to slow things down. Also, speculations are that it was Martel who actually rushed to move in with Sheree. He's all in, said the insider. Now, the question is, how long is Martel all in for? And how long would this approach last? The source did say, we will just have to wait and see. Now, Ken Folk, I'll be honest with you. Um, when I heard this rumor about Sheree moving uh, Martell into her house, allegedly, um, <laughs> you know, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised at all. And I wasn't surprised uh, by this fact. You know, the sources are saying that some of the ladies who know about Sheree allegedly moving Martel into Chateau Sheree are not too happy about her moving so quickly once again, which I am not surprised by. To me, that's a fact that Sheree really does move too fast when she's either in love or in like with someone. Um, and also, my sources also say that they believe that it was probably most likely Martel who actually rushed to move in with Sheree, which also speaks to how much Sheree is just really, um, you know, seeking love 
and really wanting to be in love and in a relationship to where, you know, her very quick nature, um, coupled that with Martell allegedly wanting to rush things along, I could see how she could go with that decision or the idea that he presented to her without even second guessing herself. And, you know, who is not to say this is not actual real love? You know, we don't know. And we're not there with them 24-7. However, when you look at Sheree's track record, it does not bode well for her decisions when it comes to love. Now, uh, sources do believe that Martell probably was the one to initiate that. Um, do I think that he was the one to initiate the move? Um, a part of me wants to say, yes, I can see him doing that. Uh, but honestly, at the end of the day, it was ultimately Sheree's uh, decision to even let him move in, even if he brought it to her. And with that being said, I could see how this could, you know, give some of the ladies some pause and really question Sheree's uh, uh, motives and also in a big part, question Martell's motives as to why you are moving things along so quickly considering both of you all's track record of in relationships and in marriages. Now, Kenfolk, um, it's another part of this um, rumor that I do find very interesting, and it is this. A lot of people are trying to figure out that if this was Martell's uh, you know, decision or his idea, why did Sheree, uh, you know, allow it to happen? And it seems as if Sheree really hasn't given up on love, but also it seems as if Sheree likes men who take control. Um, and I kind of feel like this is where Martell and Sheree actually may be a good match. Because Martell um, does have a control issues and he does like to control things. And most women are not, you know, the type of the type of being to want to be controlled. Most women don't like to be controlled. They don't like to be told what to do. Um, but then you have some women who don't mind that control, that controlling nature or that uh, that direction that, you know, the opposite sex can give them. The, uh, that direction and control that a man can present to them. And I do find it very interesting with Sheree because when we see the way Sheree has moved these past couple of seasons, it seems as if Sheree moves kind of without direction. Like it's kind of like with She by Sheree, for instance. Why has it taken this long for her to get She by Sheree up and going, considering all the resources that she has presented for her, everything at her fingertips? It seems as if she lacks a lot of discipline, a lot of control, and a lot of direction, something that she may actually find in Martell and may actually appreciate. She may actually appreciate someone telling her or directing her on what to do on a day-to-day -day basis and how to do it. And to be honest with you, Martell really does come off that way. And I think that's why uh, he and Melanie bumped heads so much because Melanie is much more of an independent thinker and not someone who's going to just blindly follow someone. But, and there's nothing wrong with following someone's lead. Um, I think with Sheree's issue is that a lot of people think that she may be following a little bit too blindly behind Martell. Now, uh, the second part of this rumor that I find uh, very interesting interesting um is this martel moving in with sheree allegedly is probably the main reason why he and um kenya are having issues and i think that this is the biggest thing that kenya probably has butted her head in if you are to believe these rumors you know because it's all speculation and alleged information but if i had to hang my head on one particular instance or situation where Kenya is probably overprotective of of uh, Sheree and have like a, it has like a lot of questions about why she's doing these things or making these decisions with Martell. I think allegedly moving Martell into her house would be that issue that uh, Kenya takes the most uh, a gripe with, and for obvious reasons, you know, it's just too soon. It's just too early. And considering, once again, both their track records and especially Martell's track record when it comes to being in love and being married and, and being in a relationship, I think making a move like this would make any friend second guess their friend and probably say something they really felt like this was not the best move. But if I had to hang my head on any big issue that causes big drama and a lot of tension um, between Kenya and Martell, then I definitely think Kenya butting her head into 
if Martell even has moved into Chateau Charest as being the point of contingency where they just don't see eye to eye on. Now, um, the next thing about this rumor involving Martell's uh, children that I find very interesting um, is this. Now, Kim Folk, I don't necessarily think that Martell has moved his children into Chateau Charest. Um, and not even permanently, not even, and not even when they're visiting their dad in Atlanta. Um, they might have visited, you know, on a day visit, as my sources are saying, but there's nothing that I don't think they have, like, just, you know, packed their bags up and have rooms all throughout Chateau Charest. One reason I don't believe that is because Melanie is not that type of mother. I think that Melanie does not, uh, mind being a co-parent with Martel's significant other, but it's just too soon, right? It's just, it's just too soon for that to, uh, happen. And we even saw a little bit of that on, um, you know, Love and Marriage Huntsville. Just how Melanie likes to do things decently and in order. So if, um, you know, the children ever did begin to stay at Chateau Charest, you have to know that Melanie is uh, very comfortable with that. And um, very reassuring of the fact that they're cool and that she's cool with Sheree and that Sheree would be cool with her children. And speaking of the kids, I do think that Sheree would make a great stepmother if it ever got to that point. And I think that um, Sheree and uh, Melanie would actually get along as co-parents uh, and co-partners um, in uh, raising uh, the children together. And that's one part of this rumor that I do feel like is a very important part to be looking out for. Whenever we start getting information that maybe the children are staying over at Sheree's house and they may be speaking weekends or holidays or extended periods of time over there, then I think we probably would be at the point where Sheree and Martell are getting very serious about one another because now they're introducing the children into the mix. That means Melanie is on the board. And so now they pretty much have the blessing to take the relationship to the next level. What that level may be, we don't know. But Kim, folks, I want to know what you guys think. If you are to believe this rumor that Sheree has allegedly moved Martell into Chateau Sheree, do you think it's a good move? Or do you think, once again, Sheree is just moving too fast? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim, folks, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.